Hi everybody, it's me. Well, I'm about to change my name. If you have a look at my um, little community tab, you'll see what I'm going to become. No longer the reselling boomer. You'll see it in a minute because it's more me. The new name is more me than the reselling boomer because I don't just resell, okay? So have a look at that and just be prepared for me to get used to saying that soon. But I'm going to do this video really quickly because the rain, when it rains, comes straight in this door like this. I have came in this morning, I dropped all my boxes off, I've got all these boxes. Um, and uh, then I went up shopping because I had nothing else to do. I mean, I could have sat in the car and listed some stuff, but <laughs> the call is strong to go treasure hunting for me. So I did, and I found some stuff. So for those who don't know me, I'm, I'm, if you're brand new, I'm Nelly. I've got this shed full of stuff that I resell. Hence the reselling boomer was my name. And I live in a big bus with my grandkids and my husband and animals, okay? We're looking for a house very soon. But I went, I went up shopping. I went to my favourite one and I went to a different one and I went to one that I haven't been to in ages. And geez, I'm glad I did because I think I got a bowl life. You'll see that soon. But let's go to the first top shop, which was Salvo's because they're back open. Not finding much. I think they're still tidying or something. I don't know what they're doing. We've had a bit of a morning. We've had a bit of a morning. My poor granddaughter, 21, Miss 21, she just called me this morning in tears and pain um, from where she lives up the road, about an hour and a half away. Her partner's had to take her up to the hospital. To, and now she's got an operation. She's they appendicitis. She was fine yesterday, and last night she's woken up with a lot of pain and in a lot of pain and vomiting and constant vomiting. And so she went straight up there the first thing this morning. And I am ob shopping, treasure hunting to relieve some of my anxiety worrying about it. That's my excuse today. But anyway, I went to Salvo's and um, she'll be fine. She just called me then. She's a lot calmer than she was, and they're going to opt as soon as they can get her into the theatre. So that's good, and a partner's there. Anyway, I got this really gorgeous vase. Look at that. Isn't that really super, super pretty? I mean, it is retro. I, I don't know if it's 70s, to possibly 70s, because it is uh, made in Korea. And I don't think we get a lot of stuff made in Korea anymore, do we? But it's a focus brand. I've looked. I can't find any information on it whatsoever. So I don't know. But all I know is it's super, super pretty. Super pretty. Then I got a couple of dresses, which you're not really interested in, because, yeah, they're going in my pile this is gorgeous i'm going to see if my sister or one of her girls wants it it's a you and all dress and you know you and all is the same one i've got some another one the other day um which you would have seen on friday which is today friday is today it's after 1 30 it's about 1 30 and uh, you would have seen the new video i just did today you would have seen it because i did it yet, made it yesterday but it's out today and this video you're seeing now probably saturday <laughs> Yeah. Um, look at this beautiful little dress. It's gorgeous. I'm going to see if my sister's girls want it before I decide to list it because it probably would fit them. But I couldn't resist it. Four dollars is their clothing. It's just crazy. And I end up getting this for Miss 21 because she loves this um, sort of shirt style. It looks really nice on her. So I got those two. And I got this one. I wasn't going to get it. Um, it's not my style. Not something I really look for. for but I know that Sea Folly. And you guys probably know Sea Folly. Is it? that way um, is a really high high brand like it's just a piece of fabric and they put huge money on it so I thought well if I don't wear it I'll end up selling which I probably will because it's not my style but yeah I probably put about $25 on that they're all $4 each great bargain and I end up getting this too which is one of those um, you know those quartz um, face things like I've got two rollers at home that I don't even use but it's only a dollar and I'm going to give one of the girls I'll probably use that but it's a nice one actually I'll probably use it because it's a right shape Okay, take a breath. Okay, have you hit the like button yet? Or have I, have I rattled too much and you're going, this is woman's crazy. You're going to hit the dislike button. Someone who's been hitting the dislike button. What is wrong with you? If you don't like it, just move on. Don't press the dislike button. And if you press upon the mistake, guys, all you can do is press the other button, the, um, the other thumbs up. If you press thumbs down by mistake, and I'm hoping it was a mistake, um, you just press a thumbs up and it goes to normal. So yeah, just don't leave me thumbs up. I've had about three lately. Am I that horrible? <laughs> anyway, I don't care. But um, I picked up this little thing. I'll probably end up painting it. It's one of those, uh, it'll be great if I have a, when I have my shop set up, I can have my jewelry hanging on it. But it's also great for mugs. So I don't know how many mugs I've got. So I grabbed it. This is the second op shop. This is, Salvo's is done. Finish that one. We're on to the second op shop. And this is my favorite op shop in the whole wide world that I've gone to every day this week and scored. And I scored again today. Because I think I showed you what I got yesterday. I did on today's video, Friday's video, yeah. 
Um, I got this only mostly, not so much the mug, which I'll probably give to somebody, the box. Because I might be able to put something really cool in that, you know, vintage -y sort of style something in that eventually. Okay, let's go into the box. Can't even see in the box very well, but let's see if you can see something. Well, I don't like you not being able to see what I'm doing in there, but it's a bit awkward. But we'll do that. How's that? Okay, well, I've got this. I haven't even looked at anything properly. It's another one of those ceramic um, brooches. See that? Didn't get a lot in here today, but I've got stuff. This is so cute. Now, this is some of the stuff I wasn't out there yesterday because I would have seen it. I'm sure I would have seen it. This is gorgeous. This is a turtle jewelry keeper. I think that's what it is. Look at that. It goes on because I had it on earlier. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that not cute? And I always, every time I have turtle stuff up for sale, it always goes really fast. Believe it or not, another one of those from yesterday, the ones I got yesterday that you, sh you, sh you would have seen. And it's actually given me more information. It's still in German. I can't read it, but at least I can go and have a look it up now properly. I couldn't work out the wording and the print the other day. Just got myself a little top, just to over my little singlets. I got this. I don't know what's in here. It's something good, I know that. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know. I loved it. I thought it was really cool. It's just an old um, shaving mug. Is that it? Mr. Mr. Shaving Mug? Yeah, Mr. Shaving Mug. It's very cool. Um, very sort of that old world style. I'm sure it's more modern, but it's just very, very cool. I'm going to look it up sometime in the near future. And if I find one, I'll share it here. I'm loving all my newspaper because I'm down to just about down to only newspaper. Now, I thought I was finished. I said, oh, there's not going to be much in here. Because I said, anything new come in? And he goes, no, not really. And I'm like, oh, that's no good. Yeah, I don't think these were there yesterday. I know. They couldn't have been there yesterday because I would have seen them. But I was walking back. I turned around and they've got these clothes. Some clothes they have there is mostly really cheap. But this particular stand, they put the like, more expensive, like $5 each usually. And I saw, I'm going to show you the, I saw this one second. And I'm pretty sure it's a Mr. K um brand look at that i don't know if it's mr k or not i'm pretty sure it is i have a feeling it is it is mr k on the little straps here i recognize mr k because i've got a lot of his i actually had a big bit of a collection and i still have i've sold some and i wish i hadn't it's a mr k it's a vintage little top is that not glorious it's all beaded absolutely beautiful little top now i paid a little bit. I only pay fifteen for dollars for everything. So usually the clothes are five each. So I'd say that's what I paid each for these. Will I sell these? I don't know at this stage because you know me. I have a big collection of vintage clothing. This is the one I saw first. I thought it was a butterfly top at, at first. Has it got a lot of butterfly tops? Now this is from the I think the nineties. They came out with these sort of style, all done, all beaded onto a silk fabric. This has got no no um. Of the work that goes into all that hand work all of it's hand done i've got i think three or four butterfly ones made like this so it's from the actually the butterfly ones for the 80s so this could be the 80s as well 80s late 80s early 90s so is that not glorious anyway got both of those from salvos i was very happy oh and this did i show you i showed you that radio then I went, after I went there, I thought, oh, I'm going to go back back over. I've got to get back to the shed and get this shit sorted. Mind you, I forgot to tell you this. This morning, I was on looking at Facebook and someone had put a post up two days ago saying, I've got all this stuff out the front. If you want it, come and get it. It's free. Otherwise, I'm chucking it. And me, when people say they're going to chuck it to the dump. Hang on for a sec. It is. lost it all VHS's what did I say I'm not getting VHS's well I'm not buying VHS's but if they're given to me I'm taking them I got a whole heap you can see the box it's full of VHS's but not only is that box full of VHS's I got them and she says oh do you want a VHS machine too and so just under there is an Akai Akai VHS machine you know they sell really well on eBay 
stoked. But on the other box, if you can't see, but it's full of 55 of these cassette um, talking books. 55 of them, the full set is in there. And the books that go with it are in there. She gave them to me for free. You know, I'm gonna make a couple hundred dollars out of this, if not more. Would you not would you have got it? I know, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. So that was what I did this morning, and I feel like, oh yes. Oh yes, I forgot this one. Before I went to my favourite op shop, I went into uh, the helicopter, which was open today, and I saw this gorgeous little vintage basket, three bucks. And I ended up grabbing this because the, the, the op shop man, second hand dealer, came over and was looking at the records. I said, Step away from the records, dude, you got enough. <laughs> he laughed. I said, Actually, there's one in there I wanted, and this was the one I wanted because I'd forgotten to grab it the other day. And after I did comps, I realised I should have grabbed it. So that one, Johnny Rivers. Um, decent comps on that. A little toy which is called Lotta, Lotta Littles. I've never heard of it before, but there's no littles in it, there's no little tiny things, but even just the car itself might sell. So who knows? We're going to give it a go. Okay, deep, deep breath, slow down, all right. Oh yes, while I was mucking around in the shed this morning, I was just tidying up the stuff that I'm keeping, including all my Wii games that I got for basically nothing last week, if you remember. And I noticed that one of the Wii games is actually sealed. $60 they're worth, sealed, sealed, guys. So I've just about, I've got photos of it, it's about to be listed, so I didn't even know that was in my lot, so. I'll probably put that one on eBay, um, on Facebook first. So, nearly finished. There's not much to go. I picked up, I was walking into the op shop I never ever go to. I go to, it used to be my favourite one, but I don't find it my favourite with this one. It's, the prices are too expensive and it's just not. But I picked up these. Now, why did I pick up these? They had a whole heap of these sort of wooden ones, plastic ones, da da da. These are marble. I reckon they'll make great stands for something. I will use them for something. What will I use them for? I don't know, but everything I buy eventually comes in handy. I've got a folder in there. I don't know where I got it, when I got it. I think I might have come in my free when the vintage haul I did a year ago. And I didn't, it was in the story shed, the other story shed, and I pulled it out the other day. I thought, oh, what can I do with that? And I thought, I could put all my work, I've got two books I use daily for my business. It's come in handy. It zips up, it's got a calculator in it, it's got a pen in it, it's got little folders for all my receipts it's perfect so everything I buy eventually eventually comes in handy <laughs> so that's what I got those two these ones I'm so excited about so I've gone in there I've grabbed those and then I saw I saw grassroots now for those who know about grassroots these are really big money at the moment they were when I looked last I had a whole heap of them once so I picked up the op shop really cheap for like 50 cents and I took it back to the op shop and then after that I realised I shouldn't have done that because they're actually worth good money. I've got one, I think five bundles. It cost me $2 a bundle. So I've got $10 worth of grassroots books. 30, 30, 60, 90, you know, I'll probably be able to sell them for 30 bucks just for that alone in that bundle. It's cool. Um, but then I'm in the back room. I did see this, I wanted this, but it was it had only just come in. And she goes, no. Nope, we're not getting that out yet. Nope, nope, it's not yep, not for sale yet. I'm not ready for that. Damn. But anyway, I love them. If you ever see them, let me know because I will probably buy it off you. Um, I have had a few in the past. I've got a few up north. I have pulled some apart because my dog chewed on one when it, when it was a puppy and I ended up pulling it apart and using it to reupholster an old lounge. Not reupholster, recover an old lounge. So i still got that lounge. It's really cool. So I'm in the back room, and I'm going to show the, the yeah, really good one last. I do not know if this one's any good. This is one I just took because I thought, well, I'll give it a go, and I don't have time to muck around in there at the moment. It's a 1922, 1996 um, BMX, no, BMW Cox plate. There you go, polo shirt. Is it worth anything? I have no clue, but it's vintage, and that's good enough for me. Then I saw this one. Well, I think I didn't I got it all backwards but anyway then I saw this and I just really thought this print is amazing this is like funky and fun and you know wow and how cool is that you know so I grabbed it well I didn't grab it it's got the old you know that, that zipper there is a metal and this is pl um, plastic so I'm standing there I'm clearly looking W and LT wild and lethal mm, let me have a look at that well look at the one I found on eBay right here 
so we're hoping we are hoping two dollars that was too hot two dollars but this is my this is my grail and i'm hoping it is my grail today and uh yeah ready one two three look i got another jersey and it's an old one from the 90s and check it all out i mean how cool is it i know nothing about it how much i'm going to get for it i don't know anything at this stage but it's made in australia um produced in australia official licensed product no dates that i can see at this stage but i got myself another jersey and you remember all those have been with me forever and if you haven't been with me forever about a year a year and a half was it a year and a half ago probably i picked up a jersey for a dollar no i thought i'd pick up that one for but i sold it for 200 and something dollars i got it really cheap i think i picked it up for a dollar or two dollars yeah i love my jerseys i love my jerseys so they go for big money so if you're out there treasure hunting keep an eye out for footy, footy jerseys just not in my territory please um that's it i'm about to go <sighs> And chat to my friend again and yeah so my granddaughter's going to be fine she said she's going to be okay i know she will it's a lot easier than it used to be and that's all my news today i'm going to go and whether you see this in one video which should be nice for you because it'll be nice and short or whether you see it with another video i don't know we will see in a minute shortly but just in case this, this is a one of video um just say treasure hunting boomer there you are okay and keep an eye out for that's going to be my new my new name i'm i reselling boom was good for a while but I always thought to myself I'm not I'll just reseller I'm a treasure hunter and I'm a keeper and I'm a memory lover and all that sort of stuff so treasure hunting is right up my alley I'll be able to put some of my metal detecting stuff in this video and all sorts of stuff when I get back into that hopefully all right I'm going because I'm, I'm rattling again see you soon bye it's probably a couple of hours later I don't know what time it is extremely not quite three o'clock about an hour, an hour a bit over an hour look at me looking like the wreck of the Hesperus so I'm back because I want to quickly share with you the lady I got all that other stuff off this morning you know whatever I got this morning called me and said I've got all these other stuff other stuff to get rid of and I really don't want to take to the dump and the op shops aren't taking all well, the op shops she goes to doesn't take them because some op shops are extra fussy I know op shops that will take stuff no matter what it is because they're not tight with their stuff they sell it cheap and their stock gets moved on. You know I know that. Um, so the shops they probably try and take to them to other, you know, special shops that cost a lot and they can't be bothered. So I ended up getting uh, two of these um, World Book in, uh, Dictionaries along with the whole set of these, which are no good to me. But you can upcycle these to make bookcases and all sorts of stuff. I just don't have the space to store them. So I'm going to take these to the um, op shop probably. But they're great for journalists, like people that do journaling. So if you are wanting one and you want to pay the postage for any of these encyclopedias, please let me know before they go to the op shop because I will give them, I will send them to you, just the cost of postage, which will probably, I don't know, 10, I don't know how much it would be. But anyway, I've got books, other books. <laughs> and guess what they are? They're cookbooks. And what did I say? Not getting, I don't want to sell cookbook, cookbooks, but I'm not going to buy cookbooks, but I've got some given to me. A lot of them I think I'll, some that I'll donate, some I'll bundle, and some I'll sell separately, like this one here, which is that, which is a little bit of wear on it, but still, it's a good one. And this one, this one's a really good one. Good housekeeping compedium, is it? Yeah, Good Housekeeping Cookery Compedium. Very old book, I forgot to look at how old it was. Uh, made in London, printed in London, very old, the old school sort of, hang on. Very old school, you know, probably 50s, maybe 50s or 60s. I can tell you I will. 1962, reprinted, originally published in 1952. Beautiful old um, selling for around the 30 odd, 35 dollar mark. So I've already made money back on that, even though I haven't listed it yet, because they are the good ones to sell. Now she also gave me, you won't believe this guys, like I said, no more cookbooks, no more books, no more this. And guess what I got yesterday? This is not cookbooks, but a big box of records. Can you believe it? Like I haven't had records for ages and I buy some the other day and now I've got more records than, yeah, I'll go through them. I'll, I'll, I'll list them all over a period of time. I've got a lot to list. I really need help. A lot of small ones, which are great. Are they 45, 45s? 
Danny K for children. Um, did you see that? And Robin Hood, little old vintage Robin Hood. Did you see that? Yeah, he did. I can't. I should have looked. Uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Shirley Bassey, Mary Poppins. I mean, there's going to be some beauties in here, I'd say. Uh, Danny K. Cheryl Bassey again. Is this boring you yet? I don't know what I'm going to pull out. 100 Melodies of the World, the World Loves Best. This is a very cool cover, that one. South Pacific. Guys and Dolls, how cool is that? And Johnny Cash. Excellent. Sound of Music. Twice. Two different volumes. Is this Fiddler on the Roof? No. One of my old shows I love was Fiddler on the Roof. This is just old music, old music. Oh, this looks interesting. This is Peter and the Wolf. Any memories being sparked? Let me know. Daffy Duck Flies South. It's one of those really heavy, old, thick, you know the old school ones, really thick, like hugely thick ones. A lot of romantic ones. Christmas is empty. Christmas hits a whole pack of easy, easy listening hits. Let's hope there's something really super. There won't be any, you know, heavy metal. Ray Conniff, Conne I don't know that one. Uh, Midnight Quartet, Robert Goulet. Goulet? Goulet? Never heard of him. Nana Muscuri. Everyone's heard of her, I'm sure. Nursery rhyme, rhyme books. I wish we nursery rhyme record um, for the love of man oh this must be it's a UNICEF one look at that that might be worth something because the UNICEF um, VHS DVDs are worth good money so that might be a good one uh, my home on the sunburnt plains honky tonk honky tonkin I used to have a little uh, uh, Facebook vintage shop called the honky tonk vintage or something I think whoever hears Percy Faith I'm going to get down here. Silver saxophones. Whoa. That's quite a um, position to stand in. Gilbert and Sullivan. The flutes of Pan. Uh, a couple of, um, yeah, that sort of one. Judith Durham, Seeker's Lady. January 26th. Probably got a lot of Australian songs in that one. Ah, Tchaikovsky again. Classics, um, another piano one, another mascuri one. <gasps> oh, my husband's got this. I end up buying it for him because he couldn't. Yeah, this is a really good one. Who remembers War of the Worlds? Back in the day, that music on that. Man, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Robert Gould, Goulet, I should say. Um, have you heard of him? I haven't heard of him. Henry. Mancini, Mancini, I've heard of him. Uh, the best of Katerina Valentine, I don't know who that is either. And Chihuahua. Is that Demos? No, I thought it was Demos Roussos for a second, so no, it's James Galloway. Galloway. Uh, Larry Norman, never heard of him. Smiley. That's a very funky one. Mr. Bojangles, Rainmaker, Caught in My Nose, Sunshine, Good Golly, Miss Molly. Chopin, 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 whatever that one is. Another very quite risque cover. Um, overshadowed, I don't know, is that a gospel type one, I think. And Orchestra, James Galway again. And down to the last couple is. Andre Kostinets, yeah that one, him, and Intimate Pianos, and lastly, some kids ones, uh, the Golden Records, Old MacDonald Had a Farm, Clover, Stealing, or something, Wade in the Water, yeah, by Clover, and The Ballad of Bonnie and Clyde by George, Fame and Beware of the Dog. That was fun, wasn't it? So yeah, I've got it. Take a deep breath and organise this mess. And yeah, I've got, 
I opened the door just then on my DVD video fell out because I had to shut it in a hurry early and I'm like <laughs> so I'm going to get organized and get get listing what I've got to get done so I don't know what I, when you'll see this guy good golly boomer that will do you if you get to this far good golly boomer I'll see you soon bye